Hello and welcome to day three of our devotions for this week that I've called Working Out. My name's Chris Porter and I'm the Senior Minister at Andover Baptist Church and through these devotions this week we're talking about how we can take our faith to the gym, how we can exercise our faith to ensure that it's fit and healthy and growing. And we're looking together at one chapter in a letter in the New Testament called Philippians. It was written by two followers of Jesus in the first century called Paul and Timothy, and it was written to a bunch of people in a church in a place called Philippi. On the first day, we looked at the first four verses of chapter two, and we talked about our first faith workout exercise, namely to look to the interests of others first before we look to our own interests. Yesterday we looked at the second exercise from verses 5 to 8 and that was about serving, serving God by serving others. And today we look at a third exercise and it's all about sharing. Soren Kierkegaard was a Danish philosopher and theologian who lived in the first half of the 19th century and he wrote loads of stuff but amongst his writings was a couple of parables about geese and those parables have become really quite well known and the first of those parables goes like this. A certain flock of geese lived together in a barnyard with high walls around it. Because the corn was good and the barnyard was secure, these geese would never take a risk. One day a philosopher goose came amongst them. He was a very good philosopher and every week they listened quietly and attentively to his learned discourses. My fellow travellers on the way of life, he would say, can you seriously imagine that this barnyard with great high walls around it is all there is to existence. I tell you, there is another and greater world outside, a world of which we are only dimly aware. Our forefathers knew of this outside world, for did they not stretch their wings and fly across the trackless wastes of desert and ocean, of green valley and wooded hill? But alas, we remain in this barnyard, our wings folded and tucked into our sides, as we are content to puddle around in the mud, never lifting our eyes to the heavens, which should be our home. These geese thought that th this was fine, lecturing how poetical, they thought, how profoundly existential, what a flawless summary of the mystery of existence. Often the philosopher would speak of the advantages of flight, calling on the geese to be what they were. After all, they had wings, he pointed out. What were wings for but to fly with? Often he reflected on the beauty and the wonder of life outside the barnyard and the freedom of the skies. And every week the geese were uplifted, inspired, moved by the philosopher's message. They hung on his every word. They devoted hours, weeks, months to a thoroughgoing analysis and critical evaluations of his doctrines. They produced learned treaties on the ethical and spiritual implications of flight. All this they did. But one thing they never did. They did not fly. For the corn was good and the barnyard was secure. For those of us who are Christians, that is such a challenging parable. It reminds us of the need to be exercising our faith. It reminds us that we were born again in Jesus to fly, to share what we found with others. The temptation is so often for us to stay within the comfort of our church, its services, events and activities. The comfort of other Christian people that surrounds us is often something that we love. But it can mean that it's too comfortable for us to go beyond our boundaries and our borders. To stay within the comfort of our Christian friends, our Christian families, all means that we're missing out on the adventure and glory of flight. And we were born again in Jesus to fly by sharing what we found with others. In that second chapter of Philippians, verse nine to 11, it says this, therefore God exalted him that is Jesus to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father it starts with with the word therefore Paul and Timothy are saying therefore because of what we were reading yesterday about Jesus's sacrifice of service because of that, God has exalted Jesus to the very highest place. He's given him a name above every name. Why? Well, not for his benefit and comfort. No, he's given him that place that everyone should have the opportunity to know that he is Lord and to find the salvation that is in him. 
And that so often happens through us because God has given us the privilege of being involved in the adventure of people coming to know him. But that involves us exercising our faith by sharing it with others in actions, words, deeds and invitation. Today's song is called For the Sake of the World by Bethel Music. You can find a link in the description below. It challenges us to have a passion for Jesus that burns so brightly in our lives that we can't help but share him with those around us. Some of the lyrics go like this. The passion in my heart, this stirring in my soul to see the nations bow for all the world to know. I'm living for your glory on the earth. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of being able to share what you have done in our lives with other people. Forgive us for when we're too secure for the, within the comforts of our own church community or church family to stay where we are and not to see the potential for flight beyond our boundaries and our borders. Help us to exercise our faith by sharing it with others. Help us to fly the way you intended us to fly by sharing our faith in, uh, with others in actions, words and deeds. Give us the courage and the opportunity to do that today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really hope you'll join me tomorrow for the fourth of our exercises. Music